town holds many surprises for the visitors. But none that will equal the refreshing discoveries of Thomasville, Georgia. Located in the extreme southwestern part of the state, Thomasville is just north of the Georgia-Florida state line and only 35 miles from Tallahassee, Florida's state capital. The town proper is typical of many small progressive cities in the south with modern stores, banks, and municipal buildings all within easy reach of the other. However, even at first glance, there's one noticeable difference, and that's beauty. For Thomasville is the city of roses, a subtitle visually repeating itself right in the heart of the business area, where every available space and lot is bursting with luxuriant roses. The beginning of Thomas County, of which Thomasville is the county seat, back in 1825 wasn't particularly eventful, but it didn't take settlers long to recognize the natural endowments of the area. And soon, many wealthy families from the north sought them out. The pleasant winter months, free of frigid glass. The summer months, bright and beautiful, with cool breezes blowing in constantly from the Gulf. And a dense countryside teeming with wild life for excellent hunting lured these families to the county. Today, on 150,000 acres around Thomasville, there are 30 plantations, each easily resembling a magnificent movie set from Gone with the Wind. Now, although the estate dates back to the early 1800s, most of the original houses have been destroyed by fire or age. Yet nevertheless, it's easy to capture the charm and romance of plantation life 100 years ago, for the rebuilt homes are similar reproductions of antebellum houses. Particular interest is given to landscaping. Some of the nation's most gifted landscape artists have created many of the enchanting gardens that flank these architectural masterpieces. At every turn, there's the color of blooming azaleas, dogwood, wisteria, camellias, countless flowering and ornamental shrubs, and always the rose, climbing, trailing, radiant, velvet, perfect, the rose. Within the city, smaller and comparatively modest dwellings of modern design offer interesting contrast to the plantation sites. But whether at modest or pretentious residences, homeowners take every opportunity to make the most of the temperate climate, which allows flowers and foliage to grow throughout the year. Most of the streets are heavily shaded with lovely spreading trees, and near the center of town is this giant oak, a real tourist attraction visited annually by thousands. Tree surgeons place its age at 270 years. In spring, every street is a vision of breathtaking loveliness, as dogwood and azaleas compete with the roses for beauty. In summer, the odor of blooming magnolias and jasmine permeates the air. And in winter, the perennial rose blooms on under the kindly sun. Yes, winter or summer, Life in Thomasville is a pleasant and beautiful thing. Along the regular winter colony, Thomasville holds excellent accommodations for tourists. Attractive apartments, inns, hotels, and motels are located in and around the city and provide every modern comfort desired for the vacationing and traveling public. Those who wish to stay near the city activity have a choice of several modern hotels, but others may prefer the quiet, scenic surroundings of the charming inns and motels just at the city's edge, where a relaxing and home-like atmosphere may be enjoyed. All accommodations are heated for cool spells in winter, and several are completely air-conditioned for summer comfort. For dining pleasures, there are a number of fine restaurants and dining rooms where guests will be delighted with savory southern cooked foods, ranging from fresh Florida seafood and western meats to the ever-popular southern fried chicken. Like most of this nation's small towns, much of Thomasville's activity centers around its churches. The spires seem to point out the beauty of the city, 
while at the same time they're a constant reminder that Thomasville's religious needs are abundantly served for all faiths. Thomasville's system of schools is one of the best in South Georgia. The city has eight accredited schools adequately staffed and modernly equipped. several private schools and two business colleges. As the medical center of Southwest Georgia and Northwest Florida, Thomasville holds a thoroughly modern medical building, as well as the Archbold Memorial Hospital with a staff composed of recognized specialists. The U.S. Veterans Domiciliary Center is also located here and is considered one of the show places of the city with its attractive grounds and its rose displays. Thomasville is easily reached from any distant point being served by the Atlantic Coastline Railroad with lines to the north, east, west, and south. Nine paved highways cross the city, making it the logical and feasible distributing center for a great trade area. Recreational activity is unlimited in the city of Roses. One of the most modern and beautiful drive-in theaters in the south is located just inside the town, in a gorgeously landscaped area where flowers and shrubs of many varieties bloom continuously in that fine-filtered air. There are three other theaters located downtown, furnishing a source of educational and entertaining recreation for all ages. More vigorous activity is offered at the Glen Arvin Country Club Golf Course, where we find Mary Lena Falk and Frances Rich in action. Both women hold national golf titles. Hunting is legion, a pioneer sport in the territory. Thomas County's great forests literally abound with wild turkeys, quail, dove, deer, and duck. Leisurely fishing in nearby streams and lakes rewards the angler with many fine catches. And big game fishing in the Gulf is only 50 miles away. Excellent bridle pads and scenic drives were a part of the attraction that first brought vacationers to Thomasville. Today these paths and drives are lovelier than ever. Baseball, always the preferred summer sport for spectators, is a favorite here too. During March and April, Thomasville is host to the St. Louis Browns fast spring training program for organized baseball. In winter, cultural programs center in the municipal auditorium where music lovers enjoy selected community concerts presented by renowned artists. No community has more to offer in natural and acquired advantages, whether one seeks them for recreational purposes or just plain living. However, the energetic, civic-minded leaders of Thomas County aren't content to sit idly in a community that fairly bristles with opportunity. In recent years, industry has moved more and more southward, and Thomasville looks eagerly toward sharing in this industrial growth. Several prominent plants and a number of small industries are already enjoying profitable and pleasant operations here. Here in the famous Yellow Pine Belt, there's an ample supply of timber and lumber for many diversified uses. Excellent low-priced industrial sites Loom in the county and near Thomasville. Water and power are municipally owned. Taxes are low. 
Transportation is ample and economical, providing connections to all points of the nation right. into South America. Yes. yes. And there's a great reserve of skilled, semi-skilled, and common labor. Plus that mild year-round climate which reduces heating costs to a minimum. In order to grow properly balanced, Thomasville desires to balance her industrial interests with her agricultural success. Mm -hmm. Thomas County was one of the first to introduce purebred livestock into South Georgia. Yeah. And as a result, today there are many fine dairy and beef herds in the county. A growing season of 260 days per year assures an abundance of fresh vegetables and fruit for home consumption as well as for commercial marketing. So successful is the agricultural industry that Thomasville boasts the state's second largest farmer's market, second only to Atlanta. It provides a daily cash market for farm produce of all kinds, and the average annual sales of vegetable truck are in excess of $7 million. The soils of Thomas County are varied, consisting of rich, sandy loam with clay subsoil to high pine land and produce yields of agricultural and horticultural products. Enormous yields. Just about everybody in the county takes an interest in flower growing and is a proud possessor of at least several rose bushes. A daily newspaper and two radio stations furnish Thomasville with current and interesting news events. The educational and entertaining programs presented by the radio stations appeal to all ages and personalities. The annual Rose Festival is always held the last Friday in April, and each year draws wider interest with the special events planned for the occasion. This particular parade, more than an hour long, presented floats from as far away as Jacksonville Beach. Local beauty contest winners from 11 surrounding Georgia cities and towns punctuated the parade. The festival has as its theme white columns in Georgia. That theme was taken in honor of Mrs. Medora Fields Perkerson of Atlanta, who authored the book of that title. Thirty floats in the parade depicted scenes from the book. As a result, the procession was one of the most dramatically beautiful ever staged in this section of the country. Show. 
In keeping with this traditional Southern hospitality, the city of Thomasville broadens this invitation and welcomes one and all. Your inspection of this streamlined old Southern city is cordially solicited. Whether you see a pleasant community in which to live, to work, or to play, you'll find in Thomasville's friendliness something as warm as the sun, opportunity as bountiful as the trees, and beauty as inspiring as the rose. Thank <laughs> you.